Hello, everyone. And welcome to the Daily Cruise Prayer and or message. I hope everyone is doing really well during these times. I myself, I'm doing really, really good. Just wanted to get on here and, you know, express myself. So, I was just, you know, thinking, you know, I love to do that. Sit back and meditate and think, you know, and listen to my guidance. So, I just got guided to get on here to speak. And I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, I heard that um, there's a lot of people, and I appreciate it. I'm so grateful of what's going on around here, how people are coming together. You know, they're out here protesting, peacefully protesting, you know. Those are the people that I'm, you know, I'm talking to, talking about and stuff like that. You know, we got all shades out there. It is so inspiring. I, I mean, I'm so grateful. I'm so happy when I see that, you know. And then, uh, you know, and then you got some that's out there, right? And they out there taking selfies and shit. They out there, they got like the fire in back of them and shit. They got the stuff and they taking selfies like, I'm here. History in the making, history in the making. You know, and it's like this. Many people are just still wrapped up in this social media, uh, trying to get likes and attention and comments. I mean, there's many people not all, but there's people that went out there just so they can get that selfie in and send it to their friends and say, yeah, I was there. I really don't care about anything about that. I just need some attention. There's some people that's like that, you know, obviously look around. It's been, it's been that way. I mean, you got all types of people on social media taking pictures. I mean, they damn near naked. Taking pictures of their body and shit, and then they just need attention. It's, look, this is a spiritual war. You knew I was going to come back to that. <laughs> if, you've been, if you've been watching me, and you know, the people who begin to watch me, just know I talk about spirituality, spirits, dark spirits and how they attack the humans minds and have them out here running rampant oh. Oh. so this is just an example you know energy is more important than money a job title all of that it's energy you know because if you have a if you have low energy, you can't do anything with yourself. If you're constantly drained all the time by giving out your energy, everywhere you focus on, whatever it is you put your attention towards, that's, that's where the energy goes. Energy is everything. Okay? This is why you got all of that shit happening on the news. You got it just you got you got all types of stuff going on around you on social media. And it's just like wherever you wherever you put your eyes, that's where it's like it your energy, it comes out of you and it goes to that. And then you gotta rest, you gotta eat, you gotta go back to sleep and shit, and then you gotta like recharge, and then there you go again. You keep giving it out. <laughs> to shit that don't even matter. Okay, it's very important to protect your energy. <laughs> it's very important, okay? So look, there's a lot of dark energies 
I like to call them the dark forces. I just keep it, I'll just keep it general, dark forces, you know. They've been here on this planet for eons, okay? They've been possessing people, making people live in fear. You know, they just, they just been doing a lot. Okay, so look. I said all that to say this, okay? Many people, ever since they were a child, they have been programmed, brainwashed, conditioned, threatened, you know, you know, like, hey, if you don't do this, I'm gonna whoop you, or you're, you know, I'm gonna judge you, or I'm gonna ridicule you, so you better listen. That's, that's where the programming comes in, right? It's through fear. So many people have been programmed to put their energy towards certain situations, certain entities that has drained them, okay? So look, let me give you an example. Let me, let me, let, let me go ahead and talk about this. Let me see how I can art articulate this for y'all. Okay, let's talk about religion. Let's talk about Christianity. Maybe the Catholics as well, I don't know. But let's talk about Christianity. Okay, so, if you look at one of my previous videos, I, I spoke about how I don't even know if Jesus even walked the earth. Because I wasn't there. I don't know, Jesus, Mother Mary, all of them. I don't even know if they really was actual humans walking on this earth. I never met them. I don't know. Okay? But they do say, though, right, in Christianity, you guys do say that, okay, Jesus came up with the, the commandments. And, the, and one of the, the first commandments said what? Now, I... I I'm not quoting it or anything like that, but it was more, more so like a love God and only God. Love God and only God. And then love your neighbors as the same way that you love God. Something along those lines, right? I mean, let me know if I got that incorrect or whatever, you know. Something along those lines. So if that, if, if that was written in the Bible, why are many of y'all out here praising Jesus? Giving all of your energy to Jesus instead of giving all of your energy to God. Even if Jesus did walk the earth, Jesus was a human who was receiving guidance and blessings from God, the creator, the most high. So why are y'all out here giving your attention to a human? These are just questions that I have. These, you know, these are just the things that run through my mind, you know. You see, energy is everything. And who are you out here praising? Many of you have praised that entity over the most high. And it's not your fault because you have been programmed as a kid to do that. Your parents have been programmed when they were kids. Your grandparents was programmed when they were kids. Your great grandparents was programmed, programmed when they were kids. It's like an ongoing situation. I like to call those, those situations generational curses.
many of you, it's very hard for y'all to accept that because you've been programmed heavily so much and you don't want to, you cannot let that go. It's like, no, everything that I know my whole world is based around that, you know, Christianity and believing in and following Jesus and believing in all these words and letters that they wrote and believing in everything that they told me because they told me if I don't believe in this, I'm going to hell. If I don't believe in this, I'm going to be judged. If I don't believe in this, you know, A, B, C, D, and E, all the way to Z, right? So it's like, oh shit, uh, I can't do anything different. Just ask yourself if you fit in that category. Are you happy? Is your life fulfilled? Or are you tormented with fear? Are you confused a lot? Are you, do you find yourself like, you know, indecisive? Is your, is your mind like all over the place? Do you have a lot of, you know, negative thoughts coming in and going out and coming back in and stuff like that? Only you can answer that. And if your answer is yes, your next question should be, why do you think that is? You see, this is a spiritual war. And there are a lot of dark energies they do not want you connecting with God, the most high. They don't want you doing that. They don't want you in alignment with God. So they'll do anything they can to distract you. They want you putting your energy, your attention on other things. And it started for y'all, for many of you, when you were children so when they programmed you as a child you know when your parents looked at you and was like you need to do this you need to believe in this and you couldn't fight your parents many of you is like okay well okay and it's like your whole life just think about it how has your life been Have you been constantly trying to figure things out and like, ah, oh, oh, what's going on? And ah, if you can say yes, then just know that your whole foundation, it was built on sand. Sand. Okay. I know that's tough for many people to hear. Yeah, that's I know it is. And, and I'm just telling you because I love you. And I don't want to see you uh, continue to suffer. Because many, many of you are suffering. You've been suffering. You've been, because you got these demons on you. It's like, why do you think you have to continue, continuously go back to church every week? Every, some, some of y'all was going two, three times a week. You've been doing this shit for years. It's like, it's like, it's like you go to church and shit and you, and you hear the word and you feel all right a little bit. It's like, okay, I feel okay. It's like a little temporary band-aid you to put over a gash that needs surgery. Surgery. You putting a band-aid on it and you going to church like, okay, okay. And then that next day, you're like, oh, my God, what's going on? They own me. They own me. I don't know. Let me go ahead and pick up this book. This, and let me read some scriptures. Maybe that might help, may help me. Look, I don't even know who wrote in that book. I wasn't there. Do I believe some of the words in the Bible is, 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 is true? Uh, yeah, some of it, yeah, but not all of it. Definitely not all of it. No, not at all. 
It's like you have to use your discernment if you want to follow a book. Some of y'all have been programmed so much and you live in so much fear of being judged and, uh, you know, of being, you know, whatever. Y'all to memorize the Bible from front to back, back to front, side to side. It's like you're a super Christian. You know, I had somebody that I was talking to uh, a while ago and they started telling me some shit that didn't, I didn't agree with. And I'm like, who told you that? And you know what they told me? They said Jesus told me that. And then they and then they gave me a scripture. They was like, Jesus told me, look, this is what Jesus said. I said, oh my God. My poor friend. It's a lot of people like that. They've been brainwashed. This is a spiritual war. And these entities want to take your energy any way they can. Like I said, they'll use anybody. They'll use your friends to come and steal your energy. They'll use your mother to steal your energy. Got you feeling all shameful and guilty and feeling embarrassed and, you know, feeling unworthy. They'll use, you know, humans. They'll use uh, the, the television, anything to take your energy away from God, the most high, the creator. And so because many of you, the foundation was already faulty because you believed in what you believed in. Your whole life was basically... You can fill in the blank. It's your life. You know, you know better than I know how your life is and how you feel about yourself and, and everything like that. Because you believed in the wrong shit. Just know that if your life is in shambles, you believed in the wrong shit and you gave your energy, your time and your attention and you praised the wrong shit. Because when I... I'm not going to go into detail of how I really found out about how that, you know, just know that I've been out here fighting spirits for the last two and a half years, especially these last several months. I have to fight some spirits. Okay. I ain't going to go into detail about that. Maybe because they knew I was going to tell on them. Many of you are living in bondage, mind manipulation, mental slavery. You see, there is a dark force agenda. This has been going on for eons. Why do you think Jesus was, was telling the people back then if Jesus really walked the earth? Why do you think Jesus was doing that? Trying to... Let the people be free from the bondage, from everything they was told by certain dictators, certain tyrants, you know, whoever. Jesus was trying to free the people, right? Jesus was a human. God blessed Jesus. So, look, I love you. And I pray that y'all can release that programming and release that fear. Many of you are so worried about what other people say about you. So you just follow the, the herd. You're like some sheeple. It's like, because you feel like you're right. Many of you feel like you're so right because everybody around you believes in the same thing you believe in. I repeat, 
many of you believe that you're so right and you stand firm in your convictions and everything that you've been uh, brainwashed to believe because everybody else around you believes the same thing. Well, I just want to let you know, there's a lot of people who are in hell. There's a lot. 90 plus percent of the people walking on this earth, they don't really know what's going on around here. They're starting to find out right now. They're starting to wake up. As you can see, people are starting to wake up and like, wait a minute. Black Lives Matter. Two years ago, they was just like, oh, okay, well, it's not my problem. Shit. Ah, oh, well, another person got shot. Okay, okay, cool. Now they're like, oh, shit. Something's not right here. It's because people are waking up left and right around here. And they're realizing something is going on. Look, I woke up two and a half years ago. My alarm clock went off a little bit before y'all's went off. That's it. I'm no, I'm no different. I'm not better than y'all. I'm not claiming to be any of that. Because we're all the same. It's just so happened that I woke up a little bit before y'all. And based off of all the experiences that I've been through these last two and a half years, I'm just sharing my experience. And I hope and I pray that my experience could help someone along their way. Because I was attached to Jesus as well. I was attached to Mother Mary. See, because I, I, didn't, I didn't claim a religion. I was just like, okay, because the spirits came to me. Mother Mary came to me. Jesus came to me. Uh, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. I had Goddess Isis come to me. Like, I had a lot of spirits in that, that, I, that I was dealing with. You know, I was like, I was, a, I was an equal opportunist around here. I said, okay, I can hang out with all the spirits. I was still, you know, I was connected to God too, but I still had all these spirits around me as well. And it got to the point, you know, not too long ago when I said, oh, shit. I had to fight. This is my story. This is, this is my experience. I had to fight those spirits that I was attached to. You see, because whatever it is that you are attached to, is what is possessing you. You can look that up. Do some research on that. Please meditate on that. Whatever it is that you are attached to is possessing you. Whether it's a person, whether it's an entity, you know, uh, whether it's a religion, whether it's a job, whether it's your reputation, like, like, for example, if you're attached to your reputation, right, you're attached to your reputation, you don't want to do anything that's going to damage your reputation. That's what I mean. So therefore, because you're so attached to your reputation, your reputation is, is possessing you. You can't do shit. It's like you like, you need to put yourself in slavery. You made reputation your God. Just give you an example, okay, of how this shit works. Okay, I love you. And I pray that you can break free from all of that fear mongering and all of that brainwashing and all of those lies they made you believe. Many of you, many of you have, have been led to somewhere where you should not be. You're not in alignment with God, the most high. You're in alignment with something else. That's why your life is the, the way that it is, many of you, okay? That's why. So I love you and let me do a prayer. Let me do a prayer. Let me do a prayer for y'all.
Dear God, please allow this water to be for the highest and greatest good for all of the beings of your choosing, God. Please allow this water to provide truth and clarity and acceptance and courage for all of the beings of your choosing, God. Please, all who are willing, worthy, able, and ready to receive and all who are willing, worthy, able, and ready to release and all who are willing, worthy, able, and ready to give. And if it is for the highest and greatest good for all of the beings of your choosing, God, and if it is for the highest and greatest good for all of the beings of your choosing, God. And if it is for the highest and greatest good for all of the beings of your choosing, God. Now, here in this physical reality and in all realities, in this timeline and in all timelines, in this lifetime and in all lifetimes, in this realm and in all realms, in this dimension and in all dimensions, in this galaxy and in all galaxies, in this universe and in all universes, in this omniverse and in all omniverses. Throughout all space and time, from now until eternity, Thank you, God. Amen. Abra Kadabra. Take good care of yourself. All right? I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.